Hi, welcome to another video. Quenco just rolled out a set of updates across version 12 to version 14, and they're focusing on safer planning, smarter vision, and cleaner day-to-day -day reliability. The core feature here is plan mode, similar to what we've seen in a bunch of tools like Klein, Claude, and so on. It proposes a full implementation plan and you approve it before any changes are applied. It's a fork of Gemini, so there will probably be some downstream changes from that as well. There's also vision intelligence that auto-switches to Quen 3 VL Plus when images show up, with a stated 256K input and 32K output token window. That means it can carry a lot of context while still generating long responses. Because it's a Gemini CLI fork, Z integration now supports both OpenAI and Quen OAuth authentication, which is pretty good for teams that mix providers. And under the hood, they've shipped fixes like multi-line paste on Windows, corrected markdown list rendering on Windows, resolved a Z auth hang with Quen OAuth, corrected malformed tool calls and output token limits, improved sub-agent performance, and UI, enabled high res image support for Quen 3 VL+, and fixed rip grep loading and task tool sync issues. Basically, what it does is make the CLI more predictable and review friendly without asking you to babysit, model selection, or fight platform quirks, which is quite awesome. So, let's jump into the overview now. On the terminal side, Plan mode appears as a pre-execution plan pane. You'll see a structured list that outlines intended file edits, refactors, and test additions before anything is applied. It's very similar to an approval gate on C1, but for local changes, it surfaces intent first. In the plan view, you can see the sections, changed files, operations, and rationale. Approvals are explicit, and the plan is what you sign off on, not just the diffs, which is kind of cool if your team has strict guardrails. Now, vision intelligence. When you paste or attach an image, like a UI screenshot or a diagram, the CLI automatically switches to Quen 3 VL+. You don't toggle anything manually. It detects the image and hands it off to the multimodal model. In the output area where visual analysis appears, you can see it treated as part of the reasoning flow. The announced token windows are 256K input and 32K output, which is pretty good for longer sessions with lots of surrounding context. You don't have to remember to switch models, which is kind of cool. In editor land, ZACP integration now supports both OpenAI and Quen OAuth. Here in Zed's integration settings, you can see the options for authenticating with either provider. The notes mention a fix for a Zed auth hang with Quen OAuth, so that specific friction point should be addressed. If your team mixes credentials or you're testing providers, this dual auth support is practical. I mean, I like it because it reduces setup issues that slow you down. It also allows you to use it with the free tier as well, which is what most people would be using. For controls, there are a couple of small but useful guardrails. In the configuration area, you can toggle loop detection, handy if a task starts repeating. And there's also the init confirmation prompt when a qwen.md file already exists with content, so overwrites aren't silent. It's a simple dialogue that helps avoid deleting context you care about, which is pretty good. Basically, what it does is give you a bit more control without wrapping everything in heavy policy files. Under the hood, there's the fixes list. Multi-line paste on Windows is fixed, so large code blocks should go in cleanly. Markdown list rendering on Windows is corrected which avoids weird bullets and spacing. 
malformed tool calls, and output token limit handling are corrected, which should reduce truncation and tool invocation errors in long generations. Sub-agent performance and UI got improvements. This is the kind of thing you feel as smoother interactions. High res image support for Quen, 3VL Plus is enabled, so big screenshots don't get downsampled to the point where details are lost. Rip grep loading and task tool sync issues are fixed, removing a couple of workflow hiccups. They also removed a buggy edit corrector that was injecting escape characters, which is the kind of subtle bug that makes diffs noisy. Getting rid of it makes reviews tidier. Plan mode is something I've really wanted. It moves approval up to the reasoning level, not just the diff, which builds trust. Vision auto switch is practical. You guys don't have to think about model selection when images show up. And the large context window is ideal for bigger repos or verbose logs. Zed's dual OAuth support is straightforward and helpful. And the Windows fixes plus tool call corrections are quality of life improvements you feel every day. I like it because it targets real friction rather than chasing flashy novelty. However, it has some limitations. Plan mode adds a step, so if you're in a hurry, that's an extra approval. Vision accuracy will depend on the clarity of screenshots or diagrams, so you should still review outputs carefully. Editor maturity will vary. Zed got specific attention here, but other editors may lag in features. And even with the fixes, you'll still hit edge cases around complex tool calls or long outputs. Keeping the CLI up to date and watching release notes is important. So, there's that. The models are good these days, but not the best, so your mileage may vary. This update cycle focuses on control, clarity, and fewer gotchas. Approving a plan before edits is a smart guardrail. Visual inputs now feel native, thanks to auto multimodal handoff. Zed's OAuth support reduces setup friction. The under-the-hood fixes tighten up daily usage, especially on Windows. They talked about these updates, and I thought I'd talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.